What is up, JL Life? Modell here. Today's video, we're going to be upgrading my Steer Smart steering something a little better. Stay tuned. Ah! What I decided on going with Steer Smarts. The Yeti XD JL Pro Series Aluminum Tie Rod Adjuster Tube, to be more exact. This tie rod is composed of high strength 7075 aluminum. It is solid all the way through. It is one and three quarter inch in diameter. One of the nice things about it, it comes with clamps as compared to jam nuts. Though each one has its benefits, clamps are just so much easier to deal with. It is able to be adjusted while it is under the Jeep. You do not have to remove it and it's steer smarts. It's made in America. So today we're only going to be replacing the tie rod. I'm leaving the drag link as is. I'm leaving it steel. I'm going to be pulling the old tie rod out, reusing the tie rod ends with the new bar. And this is going to be a quick and dirty install of it because it's not that hard to do. First thing we need to do is get that pulled out and drop the tie rod. Loosen the clamps. So if you have a means of doing your toe alignment, you can just take them out. That is the more proper way of doing this. If you don't have the means of doing that, uh, what you can do is just measure how much space in between the lip on the actual tie rod end and the bar and just replicate that. Or from stud to stud from the tie rod ends. I'm gonna be redoing my toe anyway, so this is coming out. And this is why it's important to, when you're installing steering, to use plenty of anti-seize. Makes it much easier. And the other side, this is a great forearm workout. All right. So again, super important anytime you're messing with tie rod ends. Anti-seize. However, before you anti-seize the actual tie rod end, I suggest just taking a rag and cleaning the threads so you're not just cramming a bunch of dirt and other gunk back into the tube. They are reverse threaded so you can adjust it while it's on the Jeep. Another thing I love about steering systems, what you're gonna do is just bottom it out. Now, super important part. So once you get this on, your clamps aren't gonna fit over. So make sure you get both on. before you do the other end. And the reason why it is important to bottom out both tie rod ends before installing it in the Jeep, you are ensuring as you adjust it while it's on the Jeep, both sides are coming out equally, which will provide you the maximum amount of strength for your steering. If you had it more in on one end than you did the other, you're going to have a weak spot in your steering, which you don't want. Oh my gosh, let's see. Remember when I had to use those big adjustable hammers to do this? Wow. And again, bottom it out. If you're doing this install alone, I like to use jack stands to help hold the tie rod end up as I install it. Set back up. Washer, super important. Your nut. Move the knuckle to where you need it to be. Washer. Ah. I'm not going to be torquing anything down. I'm just getting these nuts and bolts where they need to be. So now I need to set the correct length of my tie rod. I'm going to use these anti guys. Drape over your tape measures. We're at 66 and about three quarters. Back here, we're at 73 
and a quarter. It's a lot tighter on this end and a lot wider on that end. So we're gonna to need to bring this out. Typically, 1 seconds of an inch is what you wanna to be towed out or in, depends on what your preference is. After getting the tow set, I suggest tightening down your clamps next, just so it doesn't move as you go through and torque everything. You don't have to torque it all the way down, just tighten it so it's not gonna move on you. So now we're ready to torque. Proper torquing for steering is super important. Improper torquing, whether it be too little or too much, can lead to your steering braking. Steer Smart's ends torque at 105 pounds. <sighs> So torque specs, 105 on the tie rod end, 85 on the clamp. Just make sure when you're adjusting things, you're not rotating the tie rod before you tighten the clamps. Having the tire down on the ground will help prevent that. Okay. So determining where to put the tie rod clamp, I'm sure there's a scientific way of doing it. The way I do it is I turn a hard driver and that's where I will put it. Just make sure the stabilizer is all the way extended before you pick the spot. But before I get to that point, you got these little Allen key bolt heads, blue thread lock. Once you get it started, you can go back and tighten, tighten it all up. And make sure you're going in a crisscross pattern, bring them all in equally so it goes down evenly. So, I plan on doing a video in the near future discussing the differences between steel and aluminum and more specifically this video will be geared towards what I look for when picking steering. Lord knows we've been through enough of them. So there it is. It's all done. Another really awesome thing about Steer Smarts that you may or may not know is all their stuff is made in America. Now I've been running Steer Smarts for two years with the steel setup. And I, I'm not easy on it. And any of you guys who follow this channel, you know that. And it's always held up great. I rarely have to readjust it. After off-roading, I've hit it on rocks. I've dragged it on rocks. I don't have any issues with it. But guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it informative. And thank you for watching. But guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for the next one, y'all. Keep it easy. Ah.